Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on chatbot development and to end project. In the previous part, we understood a sample conversation flowchart. And in this video, we will develop that sample conversation on Google Dialogflow. When you log in on dialogflow.cloud.google.com, you will see this kind of interface. If you don't have any chatbot created on Google Dialogflow, you will see a create new agent button. You hit on that button and follow the simple steps to create a new agent. Once your agent is created, you will see this kind of interface. On the left side, we have all the menu. On the middle part, where we will develop our natural language understanding. And on the right panel, you will see a simulator where you can test the working. If you write simple hello here, it will respond back. There are three elements to understand when you develop Google Dialogflow chatbot. First, intent, second, context, and third, entities. Before we move forward and understand these three things, I would like you to know that it is beyond the scope of a video to explain the functionality of Dialogflow and how it works. But let's quickly understand what I mean by intent, entity and context. An intent is a natural language understanding thing which is derived from the user query. So here in the case when we wrote hello, it is derived that user is asking or user is saying hello which is understood by this default welcome intent which is here. So when you create new intent you will see you have context then training phrases then action and parameter and then response section. Context is where we will set our context for the next conversation. Training phrases is the part where we will provide sample user query. Action and parameter here we will set action for our webhook and parameters which are extracted from the training phrases. And here in the response section we will set our response. There is also one part of this intent is fulfillment. When we enable fulfillment that means instead of using this part as a response it will go to a custom webhook and it will fetch response from there so these are the part of intent intent has a context or it is possible it doesn't have a context it has training phrases it has action and parameter it has response and then it has fulfillment section so let's say when we write here Yeah, when we write here, let's say A, B, let's say A, B, C context. When we write a context, you will see this is context name and this is lifespan. That means for five conversations, this context will be there in a session. So let's say when I say yeah one and I will save this. Now, when I say hello, it will reply me back, but it will set context ABC context. So the next intent that we want to trigger must have this as a input context. Otherwise, we cannot invoke that intent. So this is how this thing works. I have already created an agent and it is available on my GitHub. And the link for that repository is in the description of this video. If you like my work, please consider giving a star to this repository. It helps. You will find a YouTube quizboard.zip file. Download that zip file. Once it is downloaded, you go to Dialogflow and next to the name of your chatboard, there is a gear icon. Go to import and export section. Click on restore from zip. Select the zip file we just downloaded. Write restore in capital. 
hit restore button and done it will replicate the chatbot i have created so we have an intent for hello start again intent then user provides answer user provide answer to any n number and then user provide difficulty level if you go back to our sample conversation flow chart you will see that i have intent for user provide difficulty level user provide answer and welcome intent so we have this this now there is a possibility that the answer of the question is either number or a string in order to capture a number we have intent user provides answer number and in order to capture a string we have user provide answer any and this start again is to start the quiz again in in middle of the conversation if you look into this user provide answer number you can see that i have marked some text and this text is our parameter so whenever user will write uh, the answer is 5 that means 5 will be captured as our answer and we will use this parameter on our webhook on our backend node.js express backend to you know further process if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel thank you for watching peace